So I am taking time out of my busy day to try to put to rest one of the more moronic things I have seen on the internet lately, and that's saying something. Through my Facebook feed, I saw yet again that old tired argument of that question. Jet fuel only burns at 1,500 degrees, and since steel melts at 2,700 degrees, 9-11 was a conspiracy. I am so sick and tired of this argument. Now, I am not going to make any claims to what did or did not happen. If it was a conspiracy, I do not care. What I am upset about is the retarded metallurgical things that you guys are saying. I'm not arguing the facts. Jet fuel does in fact burn at 1,500 degrees. Steel will start melting some carbon steels at 2,300 degrees. But if you hold this up as a reason for conspiracy, you are an idiot. This is a piece of half-inch thick steel, A36, structural steel, designed for structures. This is a 250-pound anvil. I'm going to put this steel in the back of this anvil, and I'm going to lift this 250-pound anvil with this bar of steel. Do you see how the structural steel is supporting this anvil? Okay. There. Now, in my furnace, I have an identical piece of half-inch bar of steel, just like this. And it's going to be around 1,800 degrees, just 300 more than jet fuel, when it comes out. And I want you to see something very interesting. Go into the forge. It's very hot, but not melted. Obviously, it is not melted. I put this in the oven. Now, watch this. I'm going to take my pinky finger, my pinky finger, half-inch solid steel. Check it out. It's a freaking noodle. Your argument is invalid. Get over it. Find a job.